So I clearly have like the worst setup to film possible in front of this like disheveled looking couch. That is the most comfortable couch in the world, but it looks disheveled. It is like 85 degrees right now. So gorgeous. And literally, I just decided to film like five minutes ago because I wanted to show you what my last week of homeschool is going to look like. I have organized things, guys. So to give you background, Riley is an only child. I homeschool her. Um, <clears throat> she's just finishing up first grade, but as you'll see throughout some of the things I'm going to show you, she's in between first and second grade in my humble, humble, humble opinion, um, because a lot of the work that we did um, for like the last half of the year was all second grade, especially when you're talking about reading and math. Not all of it, but you know, some of it. Um, so for our state in Connecticut, we do not have to um, test or assess our kid. We're able to homeschool and provide tests at our own leisure. Um, I have chosen to purchase um, three different assessments off of Teachers Pay Teachers um, that align with the Common Core um, for the most part just so that I can better assess where Riley is and where she's ending and where she's going into and what we need to work on her strengths. So this is my week coming up Monday through Friday. I'm sorry, it's messy. Again, this is impromptu, so it's not pretty and typed out. Real life, guys. Um, we ended on actually, frankly, this morning. Today is Saturday. Um, Friday, we didn't do school because we were out and about doing things and a beautiful 90 degree day. Um, but this morning, we finished up on a few things that I really wanted to finish up before we started our assessment week, which is kind of what I'm calling this coming week, assessment week. Okay, so this is one of the things that I got off of Teachers Pay Teachers. <clears throat> and I'm using my phone to record, so maybe I'll link below as to, you know, what it's called. Um, <clears throat> But this is one of the math assessments. I'm sorry, I like highlighted some stuff over here, whatever. Can you kind of see what's going on? So this is um, not really, it's not a test because it's too much. It's a lot of content. But it's basically like a review and it it's going to let me know where she's at. Um, so when I printed this, when I went to print it, there was like 85 pages, which is crazy, right? So what I ended up printing out about 40 pages, and what I did is divided it up between the five days of assessment. Um, but that's just math. Um, so for Monday, oh, I forgot to get this thing. Okay, if you follow me at all and look at my other videos, there's something called a daily language review. Um, Evan Moore. I did it for geography and I did it for language arts. I cannot recommend this packet enough. Okay, so got a call from my husband and then I had to take the chicken out of the oven. So, and then while I was up, I wanted to show you this. So I have, I have shown this on this channel so many times. I absolutely loved it because it really pushed Riley um, and it expanded her, I really believe it did. Um, so anyways, we're on the last week week 36 so anyway so every day for next week in the assessment week she's still gonna just finish off um, these daily um, language arts exercises so that's one thing that she's gonna be doing and like I said I've divided it up I'm real organized I divided it up every single day so we know what she's doing so this is Monday's packet okay so not oops sorry so not this, but this is Monday's packet. So she's going to be going through and all of this, I'm going to try to be as hands off as possible so that she, I can see and assess where she's at. So this is what she's going to be doing. Okay. Um, I'm going to just quickly go through. I can't do everything because this video will be so long. But as you just kind of get an idea, again, I got this from Teachers Pay Teachers. I believe the whole packet of 85 pages or so was $8. And, um, okay, so that's what's going to be going on on Monday. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just bobby clip, bobby clip it, paper clip it back together. Um, and then she's also going to be doing a spelling test on Monday as well. So every week 
for the whole year we've had spelling words where she's practiced them Monday through Friday and then Friday she's had a spelling test but because our week is a little hectic this week coming I'm gonna push the spelling test to Monday so we've already been practicing those words all last week Monday through um, Saturday actually practiced them this morning and then Monday she should be able to review and do the spelling test so that's Monday's um, take Tuesday we're gonna be continuing the packet so again like I said I divided up the packet so that's in sizable doable chunks this is mostly about place value um, for this day, we're going to review place value before we I give her the packet. So I have base 10 blocks. I'm just going to have her um, handle the base 10 blocks, um, just give her a review as to what the base 10 blocks stand for and all that stuff because um, there is a lot of base 10 block things in this. Um, sorry. Let me see. I don't know if I can. There we go. So a lot of base 10 block things in this. So I want her just to make sure that um, she knows what she's talking about. There's also money and I believe measurement and time in this packet. Um, measurement, um, time and measurement, I'm confident that she'll be fine in. Money we need to probably brush up on as well as place value, but I think we'll be okay. So that's Tuesday's packet. Um, Wednesday, okay. Wednesday. Um, we got a lot of addition facts up to 20. Um, with this, I think she's going to be, oh, we've got some shapes and stuff like that. I think she's going to be fine to do this without me um, intervening. Um, and that's that. We'll also do our final test on the Well-Trained Child. I'm not going to get up to get it, but Well-Trained Child um, is a phenomenal book. Again, another thing I'd recommend. Um, in my review of, like, my final review of my first grade, second grade, whatever year for homeschooling, I'm going to be talking about that, okay, because it's too good. It's too good. Um, but the Well-Trained Child's awesome. It has a final um, test to it, and I looked it over, and I think she'll be totally fine with that. Thursday. Another part of the packet that I pulled off Teachers Pay Teachers, a lot of graphing, and as you see there's probably like 10 pages or so. But keep in mind that's all that she's going to be doing for the day, so she can take her time and do that. As well, I think there's a math test. Oh, okay. So, sorry, I'm reading my notes. Okay, so this is a test that I bought off of Teachers Pay Teachers. I believe I paid five dollars for it. Um, and it's quite short. So at the end of Thursday, she's going to be doing a math test. And it's really short. And again, I'm not going to be inter intervening for her, but I'm going to frame it as just like an assessment to see where she's at so that she doesn't get freaked out or anything like that. All right, Friday is a big day. And let me preface this by saying that if we don't get through everything on Friday, I'm going to push it to Saturday. I don't know if I can. Think. Anyways, push it to Saturday morning or Monday morning. I, you know, um, I purchased um, two. I, I, an end of year assessment for first grade and second grade off of Teachers Pay Teachers. They were five dollars each. Um, I did this last year for kindergarten, and I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved it. Riley did really well with it. It's just self-explanatory. Um, Again, these are the only things she's going to be doing on Friday. So again, we can do the first grade, take a break, go outside, eat lunch, and then come back in the afternoon to do the second grade, which I think is what is, we'll do, and I think it'll work out just fine. Um, um, let me just quickly show you the first grade one. So basically, um, she goes through, and I, it's like a series of words or syllables. Sorry, this is what kind of looks like. Um, and then she does it on her own, and then you do grade, in a sense, at the end to see where she's at. So I'm excited to do the first and second grade one to see where she's at. And obviously, no pressure. No pressure. It's just for me to see where she's at, okay? So that's what our last week of school is going to look like. Again, we are ending next week, Friday, June 1st. I am thrilled. Originally, we were going to go to June 8th, um, but then I was like, no. We're going to do June 1st. Plus, we're going away um, the second week of June. So, I kind of wanted to have a week off so that I can, like, 
be normal and not homeschool and not have that on my mind before we go on our vacation. So that's it. If you have any questions, I recently have gotten a few new subscribers. Um, and I don't know if you're here for homeschool. I don't know if you're here for weight loss. I don't know if you're here for being a Christian. I don't know what you're here for. Let me know what you're here for down below. And I will get back to you. Okay, bye.